Ölü kalmıyor burada. This year is a great year for you. You understand? <laughs> God wants to use you, but you must be careful of people. Okay? Yeah. It's like you are surrounded by many people. You hear me? You are surrounded with many people. I don't think all these people are surrounded you. It's like others, they want to attack you. Attack you. Come on, vomit this thing. Come on, vomit. Because they are giving him something when he's asleep. <laughs> he never told you. He did. He had a dream, man of God. He got a dream where he was eating Amen. something. Yes. Uh, you are his wife. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Vomit this thing. <laughs> Vomit. Your <laughs> <laughs> dream was eating. <laughs> Yeah. It's true, man of God. Yeah. It's true, man of God. He had a dream. These people are all happy Amen. about what he's doing now. Because they realize he can be very great. Amen. Art. Vomit, vomit this thing. Vomit, ouch! <laughs> ouch! <laughs> you will vomit. Must I wait for him to vomit? Open your mouth, you vomit. Ouch! <laughs> Jesus' name. <laughs> After you vomit. Come on. <laughs> You see, you see that thing is coming on. Ouch! Sometimes, when Satan knows that you are supposed to be successful, he keep you busy. He bring people around you to entertain you. And if you are not aware, these people can end up attacking you. Let me touch his stomach. If you don't know, you will find that you are entertained eating in the night. No, we are not there. You are eating everything. I'm waiting for you to vomit. Jesus. Leave him. Oh. Oh, sister, are you surprised? Because I see your face change. Yes, I know God. Why are you surprised? I'm shocked. The huh? is coming out there. Huh? I'm shocked the what is coming out. Ouch! Out in Jesus name. Out in the name of Jesus. You see, he's vomiting this man. Out. See, 
even the blood there. Ouch! You are living out in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are living here. I don't know how I can tell you this after this has happened. Uh, because I wish you draw away from some people. Amen. We hear that. Amen. There are many people around you that you never know which one is. This one is an enemy. And this one on top of the head is a friend. This one on feet is what? You never know which one now. Because many people are around you. Huh? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. Uh, don't ever think they are happy. That's why you're getting all these attacks now. So what you can do, you need to withdraw. Amen. Huh? Amen. Are you going to do that? My brother. Uh, these people who want to kill you now. Because they see where you're going. And you can't pray now. Your prayer life is going down. It's I, not true. I told her. I told her. You told her what? But uh, I don't used to. I don't pray the new way. I, I, I used to pray. You used to pray? Yeah. Yeah. Because now it's like a, you are becoming like a celebrity now. Mm. Everyone wants to pull you down. And these people are trying to take pictures with you. The way they are taking pictures, they must withdraw from you. Amen. There are some pictures that you, you as a servant of God, you need to remove. You hear that, my brother? Yeah. Huh? Yes. You hear? He's eh? son of God. With this picture like, like this, that you are getting. Amen. You can get attacks and without knowing that if you take a picture like this, eh? And someone's stomach is on you. And you don't know what the person is transferring on your stomach. I'm not saying these people are witches and wizards. But you must take care of yourself. Amen. You hear me, sister? Amen. Yes. She loves pictures. Huh? She loves pictures a lot. She loves pictures? Yeah. So you love pictures too much. Your husband is telling us. Amen. It's not me. It's your husband saying you love pictures. It's true. Uh, is it true? It's true. So you must... Deal with your pictures, pictures. Amen. You are free. Amen. And you are surprised of him like this? Huh? Yes, man of God. Why? Because he's a man of God and he prays. Huh? Because he's a man of God and he No, prays. every man of God needs deliverance. Amen. Deliver it's deliverance true. means another level. Amen. You are going to another level. Amen. But we need to pray for you concerning the issue of a child. Amen. You hear me, sister? Amen, man of God. Uh, we must pray for you for the child issue. Do you have children? Yes. How many? Two. Two. Yes. But it's all for him. One is his. So, but you want another child? Yes, one last one. Boy. The last one? Yes. Boy. Huh? We want a, a son. A son? Yeah. So, let's believe it will happen. Amen. And then, uh, what are you going to call that son? Huh? I don't have a name yet, but uh, I just want him to carry my surname because the other one is a girl. Yeah, because I'm really want a child, a child issue. So... Let's check. Let's believe that it will happen. Amen. Yes. And the, the, she always have pains. Yeah. In the stomach here. Amen. Uh, the whole stomach here. The whole. Yes, man eh? of God. From here to here. For two weeks now. For two weeks. Eh? Yeah. So these pains will leave her. Let's Amen. believe she will conceive. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Even you can touch. You can touch yourself. Amen. There are no pains anymore. I, nearly, I used to have... I, I, nearly, I nearly said a name. Because I nearly mentioned a name. 
because I don't want to make issues of names, what, what, like it's a prophecy. I nearly mention a name when I'm speaking the issue of stomach. Amen. I nearly said, Nelly, Nelly, you will have Amen. a Amen. My name is Nelly, man of God. <laughs> no, I didn't say Nelly because God told me. But I nearly said that. My name is Pastor T. Labengwa. Uh, next to me is my wife, Nelly Labengwa. We are coming from um, Jobek Town, but our church in Tepisong. Tepi uh, the apostle came to me and uh, he hit me and I fell down under the anointing. And then he said to me that I'm having some attacks I'm at night and I confirm it to be true. I also told it to my wife, I woke up at night and there was somebody who was helping themselves on my head and I told them. So from there I started vomiting blood, uh, blood all over. I don't know what was happening, but something wanted to come out from me. And um, he also said that I'm surrounded by people. Yes, there's um, some people who came to our church or a person and then we gave him a position of a pastor. Then while he was there, he started talking bad about me and the church almost went up in smoke. But we thank God that it did not happen. After I vomited, I feel like my throat is cleared. Because when I sing, just now I was singing, and I could feel that my throat is clear. So there was like something that if I speak too loud or too long, it will block my, my, my throat. So I thank God that now as I'm singing, my throat is clear. When I was speaking, when I was speaking with the pastor, I say he must be careful of people around him. I don't know if he's aware. But most of the people around us, we must not take people very fast. We must never do what? I don't know. I don't know how you people. Where's that pastor? Please, you can come here. Otherwise, you're still going to face a lot of attack. Where is it? Come here with your wife. Here. Yeah. You must never take people very, very fast. And uh, your wife must withdraw in this thing. God will never lift anyone who's focusing on people. You must never try to attract anyone. Allow God to do it. Amen. Even when people come to your church. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Uh, because your church seems to be like it wants to grow, but it doesn't grow. Amen. Yeah. Is it true? It is very true. So when people come to your church, what you have to do is you must not give anyone portfolio. Okay. This lady, she's talented, the one you're having. There's a grace in this woman. Amen. So let's allow the grace in this woman to work also. You work with your wife. Are you hearing that? Yes, I've noticed. You have noticed that? Yeah. There's a grace in a life. So let's allow this grace to work. But if now someone come, now you just take a person, now it's a worshiper. You take a person, it's an usher. You are killing yourself. What is happening here? When I speak that, I'm seeing what is happening here. You must not rush to do that. Well, I'm seeing your husband also here when you are doing it like that. Can you just come here? Is it your husband that one? It's not him. Uh, yeah, I was waiting for him. I don't know or is, if he's around. Yeah. Because when I was speaking here, when the power of God hit you, it is the same thing that you people are experiencing. Chape, get out from these people. Some people here, devil will send them to destroy your church with their talent. You don't need talent in the church now. Are you hearing my brother? Eh? We need the Holy Spirit now. We don't need talent. Yes. You understand? Yes. We need the Holy Spirit. 
Because when I'm speaking here, the anointing is also hitting your wife here. Okay? Because you are doing the same. Can you withdraw from this lady? Yes, daddy. Uh, there's a lady you need to withdraw from. These people are very dangerous. They can come there like, you know, you find that now you put them in a worship team now. And to take that person from out there. I don't know what was supposed to have happened if I might have used someone here without my wife here. The person that I was suggesting to my wife uh, rebelled against the church. This church was supposed to be half here. Rebel against me. The lady that I wanted to use here as a worshiper, and I suggest to my wife, my wife says, no, 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 no. Uh, no. Let's wait for God to tell you. I said, I don't want you to be tired. I was telling my wife, I said, oh, she says, I'm not tired. Uh, God will tell you. If God tells you, I will agree. I said, no. God didn't tell me I was suggesting. She said, if you're suggesting, no, let's leave. From there, where is the lady now? So let's take if she was here and she's part of the people who are leaving the church and we rely on her. Be careful about that. You hear my brother? I eh? hear you, Apostle. Yeah, God wants to use you. Amen. And uh, the church will grow, but uh, we must not attract people. You can yes. still do your job on your own yes. as a pastor. You understand? Yes. If your wife can't sing, if your wife can't sing, let her sing. Many people who are singers here in the church, they can't sing. They will, they will qualify. They will be qualified when they are carrying on. Amen. You understand? Yes, I understand. That. But if we search for people who are, what will happen? What will happen? Hmm. This lady is very good, the one you have here. Go on to lift you, but let her also not to be like a celebrity. Okay. She pray. She kneel down, pray, leave all this thing we're talking about of being famous. Okay. Because people want to destroy everyone here. So what you have to do, chap, is the same thing. Yes, daddy. You understand? When someone come to church, you check. You can do a job alone with your wife. Yes, daddy. And uh, allowing these people to come there. These people that are coming there, many of them, they want help. Others have been sent by Satan. So if they come and sit down there, you will deliver them. But if you just take a person within a month, and the person becomes something in the church, you don't know the assignment of that person. You can be surprised you are under attack, left and right, and the church is dying. So let's be careful about this uh, wrong spirit. I'm just saying this uh, to uh, Chapi and your wife. Uh, my brother, yes. uh, my, my, my sister, called Nelly. Yes, that's yes. her name. Uh, Nelly. Mashaba. Mashaba. Yes. Mashaba. What? what? Mashaban. Mashaban. Yes. So you people, you will be used by God. Amen. God loves you.